Morning guys, about 7 a.m. Looks like it's gonna be a uh, drizzly, rainy day here in uh, Oregon. Uh, I got a couple things I wanna work on to get today. Uh, let me show you what they are. You guys remember last episode, my uh, throttle handle uh, right there busted in a million pieces. So I came up with uh, something that I thought would be a nice replacement. This guy right here. The logos are even correct for what we're doing with it, which is kind of funny. Uh, this is off of a John Deere tractor, I think. I'll post a link in the description as always, but uh, it looks pretty simple. Looks like we just got to line it up mark it, drill a hole, and install it. So hopefully that works as uh, I'm hoping and thinking it would. Also, you guys are probably wondering what this stuff is. Well, I originally bought a roll of it to make some armrests on the door. And uh, it worked really well. I was surprised at how good it works. Um, it reminded me of the tunnel insulation. You guys remember uh, that stuff right there? Right there. It's got the shiny side on it and it went in the uh, doghouse basically to reduce noise and heat and did a bunch of good things. Well, I've always wanted to do something for the headliner in the cab and I just didn't know what to use and I love that. Um, Dynamat hood liner stuff, but it, I mean it's just too shiny and it didn't look right So I was like looking for something that would do the same thing, but in black Well, I found this stuff on Amazon. It's actually marine insulation. They use it in boats and uh, It has a really nice Surface it's half inch thick and it has that same sticky glue that's all over the back of uh, the Dynamat hood liner so what I'm going to attempt to do today, no promises, is uh, get those open sections of the roof inside the cab lined with that marine insulation. I've also got another trick method to show you guys on how to make the patterns for it a lot easier. You guys remember back when I first bought Able and I did the window tinting and I showed you how to do it with aluminum foil? Well, I got another trick up my sleeve that I've done in the past on other vehicles uh, that I'm gonna show you today. You basically need some strong magnets, an old shower curtain, a Sharpie, some scissors, and of course, uh, this roller for putting the uh, insulation in. It's gonna be a long time lapse today with a lot of descriptions, so buckle up and uh, let's get started.
really like this stuff, guys. The um, throttle handle thing turned out awesome. Um, the slot has to be widened out, so what I did is I took the uh, Milwaukee Dremel and I um, put a roto zip bit in it and just got in there and widened it out a bit. It all it takes is one tiny little uh, quarter inch hole and uh, the handle attaches and I put different hardware in it because it came with plastic push pins that just pushed together I didn't like that so I just put um, a black nut and a black screw on there turned out good I like it um, there's one factory defect in the uh, insulation there that I wasn't paying too attention to when I was laying out the pattern so not a big deal this uh this insulation actually fits my um utilitarian uh form over or function over form type build that i have going on nothing in here is perfect and i don't want it to be because it drives my ocd crazy if it gets a scratch or a dent or a ding but i was able to take four rolls of that stuff aside from this one little spot right here where i had to make a seam um everything else worked out just fine it doesn't sound as echoey in here now which is good and I bet um, this is gonna help with the heat and the cold and whatnot um, the cool thing about this stuff is, is if you uh, cut it oversize like on these side pieces I had a huge like overlap of an inch and a half if you get the edges in there and you leave this warped out you can eventually just go through with the um, roller and roll it all out and it will compress all the extra and make it more dense um, so that worked out pretty good plus when the Sun comes out I think it's gonna permanently glue the 3m backing onto there which is really nice I will leave a link in the description for this stuff they sell it in different size rolls um, I bought four rolls of the 16 inch wide by 60 inch long pieces I think that's what it was and I was able to do the whole cab with it. So, uh, aside from that, uh, Willow brought some scraps home from work. These are like Dynamat, um, real thin Dynamat scraps. And uh, I don't have any type of insulation behind the door panels. So, what I'm going to do is. Uh, repurpose this stuff and stick it behind those door panels so let's get started on that
right, guys, I got the uh, door panels insulated here. Check this out. No more rattles, no more uh, anything weird sounding anymore. It's all gone. It's pretty awesome. This stuff was free, so it was a free mod. And uh, it's getting warm out now, so I'll have to keep an eye on the insulation and come out every so often and make sure I'm pressing it up so the glue is adhering because this stuff is made so when it gets warm out that it uh, the glue grabs really hard. So um, other than that, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. If you uh, liked what you saw, learned anything, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And as always, take care, guys. I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.